Hello and welcome to part two of my landscape tutorial. For those of you who joined me last week, you'll remember that we looked at all the different colour combinations and textures of fabric and um, then chose what we were going to use out of a big bundle of original pieces of fabric um, that all matched in colour wise. Um, and then when I left you last week, we had basically all the bits of fabric laid out on top of the linen ready for um, sticking down and then stitching in place. So this is what I'm going to do today. Now, and I've made a start here on actually um, sticking some of these down. Um, for those of you who haven't joined me before, I use something called 505 Temporary Fabric Adhesive and um, that is very good. It's, it doesn't glue up the needle, it doesn't get jammed um, and it basically disappears within about 24 hours so it would hold stuff temporarily just while you stitch things in place but it's not a permanent glue. Um, so I've made a start sticking some of these things down and you will see that um, I'm leaving quite a lot of the texture and things in place as well all the little bits that normally you'd think oh they're frayed edges and you'd cut off they're all going to add to that sort of wildness feel when we when we finish our piece so basically I have got three pieces left to put on the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move you across and just show you what I've got over here so here we have the three pieces that are left that are going to go on the bottom so you just turn them over and then just a couple of sprays on each piece this piece is far too long but i will cut this in a moment and again like that right i'm now just going to pop you back here where hopefully you can see there we are so then each piece I just turn over and just stick down basically just where I want it to go and that's not down far enough so I'm just going to move that down a bit further Then I'm going to pop that probably about there and then this bit is probably going to go, I think we'll move it along so that we've got those nice sort of black edges there. I'll just check that by putting up my mount to make sure that I'm happy with that. That's fine. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm just going to cut these long tails off here because we don't need those. And they can go on the scraps pile. So that is basically ready for stitching. So, as usual, I will hold this in place, first of all, by using clear nylon thread, which I've got in my machine. Um, and then um, we will add more detail later on. Now then, what, what you'll notice possibly that I'm, I'm doing this time is I'm going to start at the top as I normally do. But then as I come down a bit more here where we've got all the layers, normally when I'm doing particularly a seascape, um, I always stitch along the very top of each layer. Now when I do a landscape, it works a little bit differently. I tend to not stitch right along the top edge of each piece of fabric, but come down a little bit. You're not really going to notice the stitching anyway. So it's about securing the fabric in place. But what I like to do with landscapes is be able to tuck little pieces of um, say grass or little buttons underneath some of these edges later on and obviously if I've stitched right at the top then I'm not able to do that so I'm just going to bring my machine forward so that you can see and we'll get this all set up And then it's just a case of, make sure that's okay, that's okay there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Right, so then what I'm going to do is actually just stitch down through 
starting off at the very top this line you won't actually see because it'll come off the top of underneath the mag top the fabric underneath the mag and then this piece which is the actual horizon that can be stitched right at the top because you're not really going to tuck anything in there now then that is not always the case because sometimes if I was doing a bigger piece and I was going to put some trees on the horizon then I might want some little bits of fabric to represent the tree trunks to just tuck underneath but um, that's not the case here um, even if I do end up putting some trees on the horizon they will be stitched in so I won't need to slot things underneath so then we come down and this piece of sari silk when I glued it I didn't iron it first and then it's kept some of the creases in it our way down making sure that every piece is secure oops that's coming on stuff a bit that's a much thicker piece of fabric so therefore stitching just pull that away push that back there cut off any long ends right so there we have that so if I place this over the top now I'll just move this so that you can see so as you can see all within the mount is all covered. This will get a little press now because it's a little bit bobbly in places. As you come down here, you can see that there are a few little frayed lines here. I will trim those off with a fine pair of scissors just to make that horizon nice and smooth. When you come down here, the rough edges are actually part of the design. So as you can see, I've stitched along here and I may well put some more detail in here as well. But quite a lot of these now, I've got little looped areas where I can pop things underneath. So here, and then when I come down here, so that I can tuck things underneath and it looks far more natural when it's actually finished. So everything there is held in place. This is quite a short video today. Um, what we're going to be doing next week is then looking at how we put more detail in the piece and um, looking at embellishments like buttons and beads and maybe some French knots and some hand stitching just to give some more texture to the piece. But basically that is all you need to do this week. Um, you know, if you've got a lot of buttons at home, then have a think about buttons um, on your pieces that, that might be the right sort of colour and maybe have them to hand next week. Um, but you'll be able to obviously watch the video back once I've done it so you can always go and gather things afterwards. But that is it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoy your sewing. If you're sewing along with me, do let me know how you're getting on. And I look forward to... Uh, next week when it will be uh, number three of my landscape tutorials. So have, have a good weekend everybody and enjoy your sewing.